Hey everyone, this is Weekend Warrior Bentonville MTV coming at you with another bike check. Putting out some videos today. We'll see how long it takes me to upload. I've been gone for a little bit and collecting some bikes. Been working on them, but now I'm ready to make some bike checks. So today I've got a weight weenie special right here. Uh, no offense if you're a weight weenie. But anyway, this is an Or Orbea Opal road bike. So this is probably 2005, mid 2000s, maybe uh, late 2000s. Maybe 15 uh, to 20 years old. Really fast bike. Really fast. Uh, I have a Pinarello and this thing is, if not as stiff uh, as the Pinarello, um, but this thing just, it gets up and goes. Um, it's a fast bike. Uh, you know, it's, it is an older bike. Um, you can see the, the caliper uh, brakes right there, but it's their ace. You know, I would take some really good Dura Ace rim brakes over some entry level disc brakes or hydraulic disc brakes from that are currently in the market. Uh, the Pinarello that I have also has rim brakes. I don't have any problems. I don't ride really in the rain, so as long as you don't ride in the rain, you have really good stopping power with those Dura A's uh, <coughs> rim brakes. Uh, so, yeah, this bike was around four grand back back in the day, and the Blue Book now is like four hundred bucks. But you know, you get whatever somebody's willing to pay. Uh, I think it's worth more than four hundred bucks myself just because of the condition and the uh, maintenance that's been done on this bike, replacement parts, things like that. So, you know, a lot of, some of the stuff is still the same, the frame, maybe the shifters, uh, but all the wear parts like tires, um, drivetrain, either it's been replaced, uh, the same thing or something uh, new, uh, newer. So. You know, if you can find somebody that bought it originally and they've been, you know, meticulous about uh, maintaining it, uh, doing service on the bike, then you can find some pretty good deals. So this one, you know, it, it's hard to say like what's all been replaced, but I'm assuming like the, don't know what the original wheels on this bike were. Um, but it has some Mavic Casirium, so with the bladed spoke, so you know, just really uh, quick engaging wheels. With and then you know we got aerodynamic with the spokes. Uh, these these tires are so freaking skinny. 23C. Uh, this one probably needs to be replaced. I've got some tires I will throw on it. And this, the front one's still in decent shape. Um, but if you trust my sharper image luggage um, weight, or yeah, the, my scale, this is right around 17 pounds plus, you know, it would read right below 17 or a little bit above 17. So yeah, it's really light. Like I've shown it to a few people and they're like, oh my God, this thing is like, it's gonna break. But the, the frame is really stiff. Man, yeah, this thing is just, it's made for speed. So you're not gonna get a comfortable ride uh, if you're, entry level road biker I would not recommend this bike for you you know I sell a lot of bikes and bike parts if I, and I try not to sell people stuff they don't need 
and if you're an entry level uh, person or a rider then you know it may not be for you it might be for you once you get into the sport but this thing is just the the positioning it's so aggressive you're you're hunched down um you can kind of tell you can see where the put it like, try to make it level uh, but yeah the the stem and the seat or the the fork it, you know it's really low so you have to like hunch down it, it's real really aggressive riding uh position and somebody that's starting out you know if they get on something like this where they feel every bump and they're not used to you know the wearing the padded shorts and all that you know it, it might keep them from getting further into the sport because it, the bike is might be a little bit too uncomfortable for them uh, but yeah this thing is made for for speed it's really great condition honestly um, and yeah even for me uh, I don't do like any road racing I did some XC mountain bike racing so but the positioning on those is not as aggressive as road, road uh, cycling uh, road uh, the people that you know, race professionally you know they're like bent down pretty much the entire way and that's just aerodynamics you know mountain biking aerodynamics not as important it is but not as important um but man yeah this this thing is it's a fast bike uh, and it's in really good condition so you know you could spend several thousand on some something newer that may not be as fast if you're like an in intermediate rider that wants to you know have something that keep up with your buddies that you know they're in the in the bike group that you know they go 17 20 miles an hour average if you want something if you think your bike is holding you back uh if you want something that's going to keep up then this is this would be the bike for you like if you want to prove to yourself that it's not it's not the bike or it's not you it's the bike then this is the bike where you can say well you know <laughs> i gave it my best and i still couldn't keep up or yeah it was the bike um i keep talking uh i'll get my pinarello cleaned up but i want to do a video on that one because out of all the bikes that i've ever owned that one is where i uh saw like a immediate gain in like my riding speed that, that it was it was really noticeable this one I, I would assume is the same thing but the thing with the Pinarello it's really comfortable this one I've ridden it around the block and man it's just I don't think I could do that for like a couple hours I might be able to do it for like 30 minutes uh, and then I need to get into a, a more comfortable riding position but then you're not going as fast you know so let's just spin the, the wheels here the Mavic. pretty good check the, the saddle it's got a specialized taupe 143 body geometry i don't know it could be a high-end saddle i don't know uh, that's carbon fiber stem right there oh the handlebars that's just everything is you know, trying to be lightweight as possible i do know that these i'm not sure how you pronounce this but arendelle bottle cages those things are a high dollar I, those uh, i had a couple of those on or i still have those on my pinarello and i looked them up they're like 40 bucks each and that's crazy but 
just everything uh, high end on this one. Uh, again, not for not for everyone. Not not the most comfortable riding position, but this thing is fast. Uh, it will whatever you can throw at it as far as speed, uh, it'll handle it. Really good condition. Alright, well I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is Weekend Warrior Bentonville MTB. Thank you for checking out this Orbea Paul. This uh yeah this speed demon right here. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.